Now, when you get to my age, and in this situation on the market with the virus and all, you look for stocks that pay you a nice dividend, and that dividend has to be safe. David Barnson, actually, we had trouble getting the line going there, but he's back. We got him. And David Barnson knows all about dividend plays. So I think you've got three stocks for us that pay high, safe dividends. And I think the first one is um, Broadcom. Tell me more. Yeah, so Broadcom, ticker AVGO, has a 5% yield. It is right now up 50% from where its bottom was in the month of March, yet it's still substantially off its high. So there's plenty of room to go to get back to normalcy. That dividend is more than covered by free cash flow, by earnings. It's been a great acquisition story in the technology space. We definitely believe in the sustainability of that dividend. Okay, next one is Walgreens. What do they pay and is it safe? It's definitely safe. They've been paying the dividend since 1934. You may have heard we've had a few things happen in our world since then, and they've continued paying that dividend every year since. Walgreens, of course, in a lot of ways, uh, benefits through this turmoil because there's certain things they sell people have to have. It's a brick-and-mortar retail pharmacy, but they have really stayed flat from where they were about a month ago. They're down on the year. But um, again, a 4.3% dividend yield that we believe is very safe and sustainable right. and, in fact, going to continue to grow. All right, David, you've got 30 seconds to tell me about Verizon. Well, Verizon, I can tell you in 30 seconds, because here you have one of the safest, most stable dividends, one of the lowest volatility stocks in the entire Dow, very low beta, and tons of cash on their balance sheet, low debt, low leverage, 4.3% yield, the future of 5G, and I think that's 30 seconds, Stuart. You know, David, we used to call that news you can use, useful news that you can actually put into practice. Mr. Barnson, that was real good. Broadcom, Walgreens, Verizon. I'll check them. Thanks very much, David.